Miss hit it. No, he didn't. He goes wide to Carlos Heel. That was on purpose. Heel. Dribbled one player, but uh, Costa read it well. Here's Kubo. Oh, that's a good pass. Vasquez. DeWan tracks well and makes the tackle. It's enough to hold him off. And what I like about that, that shows fight. That shows you're backing up your teammates. Okay, you're, you have responsibilities, there's expectations that are being set, and you're holding each other accountable as you play through this. Costa. Haglin. Powell. Working with Acosta, the captain, on the Kubo. Kubo has to be a little bit deeper defensively tonight after playing out wide on the side of the diamond last week. It, it honestly it suits him better, I think, just playing centrally. Here's Kubo. Off to his left, Gaddis. Gaddis in the face of Gressel. Block it into the 18, headed away. Heinz Eich was there. And Cincinnati whistled for a foul. Powell was trying to find Acosta cutting. And the interception was there for DC. Kubo. Back to Acosta, the captain. Brenner, edge of the 18, off to Kubo. Switches it to his left foot. Kubo will take a touch wide for Gaddis. Kubo into the 18. Acosta left it, but nobody was home. Pops out to Gazdan. Up the left side for Aronson. The youthful legs slowed down by Nick Haglin. Gazdan challenging on Yuya Kubo. How about the job there by Yuya? Brenner into the final third. Leaves it for Nelson. <laughs> Cosserus battling, so too Brenner. Kubo on the ball. Gets his engine going. Yuya Kubo played out wide. Is there a chance for Cincinnati, buddy? I'll save Corey. The early passages here. Yeah, you got to be patient. And within that patience, you have to have a lot of intensity and a lot of energy. You want to make sure that you hit them early because this is a team that's hurt. And if you hit them early, you get a goal early. You get the sense that they... they, they mentally are very affected because of the way that things have gone for them for a lot of these players they've lost 14 games in a row so to concede a goal like they did in austin their heads go down for sure i think especially that duel between the center forward and the goalkeeper in training they right. see that so many times in those situations and you do you tend to pick up strengths weaknesses and and i think for, for fc cincinnati you know you're starting to see that well here we go again off to the chest of brenner Brenner cutting it. Pineda still searching really for that chemistry between uh, Moreno and Tiago Almada in the same attack. As he pointed out, they bring very different attributes to it. Moreno a bit more direct maybe. Almada he's described as the connector in attack. And there's uh, Cincinnati on the attack here. And again, they found plenty of space. Again, it's Acosta hoping to profit from that with three in the middle. This is Brenner. As opposed to kind of his natural nine position, well, he's obviously played majority of his career in that striker position. I think, to be honest, I think you know Phil Neville at the attacking side has probably recognised you know he's a player that needs to have a free role. Right. But again, sometimes that comes with a cost, right, defensively too. Moreno, the far side, Matarita. Towards the 18, comes off the foot of Acosta. Moreno and now Kubo. Acosta and Kubo working over to Baji on the left. Baji looking for a cross. Vasquez is there, found a pick. But since then, it's been very, very positive. And, and today, so far, again, you can just, you know, things are clicking. Kubo over to the near side in the direction of Powell. Hockey in the midfield to Moreno. Kubo on the left in the direction of Acosta. Looks unlucky to flinch him right to Monterita. Maybe a minimum of three minutes of stoppage time tacked down here in the first half. Monta to Kubo. 
his foot, won by Miami and in the midfield. Anytime you make it a sub a player that got dropped from the last game too, you, you've got to be aware of him. Guain in the box, nearly had a chance, wasn't able to turn on the ball. Kubo will try to break out in transition. Kubo right up the middle of the pitch, off to his left, Vasquez. Okay, McVeigh throwing coming for Cincinnati. Aglin with a header forward to Kubo. Barrel. Taps it off Kubo. Has Brenner ahead of him. Kubo with some space off to Matarita. Matarita into the box, headed out by Vasquez! Morgan takes on Gannis, plays it across, his service blocked away. Time for Cincinnati to get on this, and it's Kubo trying to beat his man. Caceres, Kubo has the pressure legs here and plays this across. Brenner has options, able to lay this off. Ordonia comes in. Again, there's a deflection, but look at the three nice role players at the back post. All in a position, all goal side. As she says, I waste no time attack again. Here's Kubo across the 18. Brenner is there, his shot goes high. And it was a deflection. So you've got a long time to keep guys in and keep working and fine tuning and just challenging them in different ways. Here's Kubo goes for Powell. The speed of play is kind of slowed down here yep. in the second half from DC United. Not going to beat FC Cincinnati that way. Kubo. He's well on the ball. Now gets the ball back. Brenner. The magic man Acosta. See your Tri State Buick and GMC dealer today for attractive offers across the entire Buick and GMC lineup of vehicles. Runner in the midfield finds Bocci. Comes out to Kubo. On the right side, Powell, B single tracker. The start, and you talk about the, the aggression in FC since I've shown, but this time I think they're just a little overzealous and trying to step instead of dropping and reading the play. Edison Flores certainly got in that space. Last week, this midfielder used to play in Belgium. He and Alan Cruz are two players who have dropped off in production, but he's done well here. Kubo, that was a great tackle. Kip Keller and Cascante add more to the goal call of this season. Yeah. Well, they're both designated players. When we talk about that with Austin, you just you just can't afford to miss on your designated players, can you? They are too valuable in this league. And lifts it down the field. Come into Kubo. Arujo with it. Black stays down. Vasquez across the face of goal. It's notable to say, even though this has gone, the stats gone tonight's game, but they're second as far as clean sheets. Going back just to kind of the defensive setup. Decision. Vasquez playing on for the Vasquez can't find the header. Moreno crashing in, drops it back to Kubo. Kubo on the service. Acosta was there, and his header went just up over the frame. That back space again. See a free man. If, if Kubo can find that space again, Kubo will send it outside of the 18. Barrial trying to hit it off the volley. Vasquez a header. Urgency in the boots of Nashville. They all misplays the ball and Cincinnati wins it back. Kubo going to try to find Vasquez up the right side. It'll bounce to Vasquez, draws it into the, the touch. Brenner will try to collect. Pressure there from McCarty trying to get away. Brenner does well. Kubo turns it forward as Powell racing up the right side. He'll get to the ball first. Powell in the final third looking for a cross. Obedo, McCarty in his face, off to Moreno. Now Kubo. Kubo looking at the far post. Brenner is there. Heads it across. Vasquez trying to find the ball. And it goes just one. The newly introduced Yuya Kubo. Oh. Barrialu provided plenty of threat on the goal. Oh. Curled in for Brendan. Vasquez! Orbit over Kubo. Sense of urgency. For the orange and blue right now, Vasquez is going to try to get to the ball, does. Plays it back to Goddess, steps away from Ali Amundsen and finds Wobodo. 
middle of the park. Kubo finding Brandon Vasquez into the area. Vasquez goes down. And so Vasquez with 16 goals. Brenner with nine. And Alvaro Barial in place of Luciano Acosta. Seven assists as opposed to the six good ball. Good ball. Uh, but now an opportunity here. John Nelson down the left hand side. Looks to square it across. Knocked away. La pelota que rebotaba. Y ahí le queda Cubo. Pedían mano. Y arranca Luchito Acosta. Very difficult to hit. The ball's played across so high to him. The concentration needed. And here's a turnover. Acosta a shot. Acosta a goal. There's Moreno. Now Kubo trying to get into the 18 once more. Kubo with the fresh legs, looking for a pass, got it across the six. It was deflected, and then San Jose just plays it out to the. Caldwell, the interception. Anderson Julio gives it right back. Cincinnati with the chance here. Luciano Costa trying to find space, lays it off. Gana Chivas. El toque que vino por el costado. Y ahora que va a ser Cubo. Más atrás que vino para el capitán. Mira donde está Jeffrey Cameron. Otra vez Cubo para sacar un pelotazo que vino en el aire. El travesaño le ha negado el empate. ¿Qué es lo que está? El, el, el medio tiempo 5 centro. Buena la reacción del Tala. Miquel es cinco ventanas incluido el medio tiempo. Sí, no están. Te dejo, José. Cubo. Chucha con este centro a segundo palo. No va a llegar Cruz. Será saque de puerta para el Tala Rangel. Miquel. Cold and damp. It's uh, been plenty to warm them up already, and uh, Cincinnati are on the move again here with Kubo delivering Vasquez, and then the header from Nick Lima. Formed the fluidity and the dynamics of this Austin attack as that cross is fed in towards the far post, an opportunity perhaps, and Brad Stuver able to hold on. <laughs> Kubo now. Three to make it a run. Baji. Baji. Oh, Ochoa. There will be five minutes of added time here for Orlando City to at least try to salvage a point from what will, no matter what, be a pretty disappointing result for the Lions here at home tonight. Coutinho. Cut off by Kubo. It seems like the curve might have gone out of Orlando City. Coutinho. Something alive there, but it's back to FC Cincinnati. Here's Kubo. Great play by Pereira. But then two of the Orlando City players try to get on it. It's one back by Cincy, at least for a moment. Oh, now here they come. Kubo breaks on the ball. Kubo flips it out. Here's Vasquez. Stays on his feet. Yatsen with the block. So by Sergio Santos. This is Kubo. Helps it on. Vasquez almost in behind. He's not offside. He must be offside, yeah. Cincinnati debut last week against Austin, so two straight starts for the newcomer. Kubo sliding in and finds a deflection. Able to bring the ball off his chest. Kubo drops it back. Acosta. Over to the vision. left in the direction of Vasco. Oh, no, Gaddis with a touch. Off to Brenner. Two defenders on. Brenner to the 18. Trying to bring it over to his right foot. Deflected away, but straight to Kubo. Kubo held up, strong defensively there is DC. Back to Cincinnati, Acosta gets around Nyman. Acosta to the edge of the 18, loses his foot, and Kubo follows with a shot. That goes wide. Intercepted across the middle, but right back to Moreno. Brenner with Kubo making a run. Yuya to the 18, Yuya Kubo! His first since 2020! 15 yards away, the Costa Rican. Steps into it with his left foot, drops it back for Kubo. Kubo into the 18, left-footed shot deflected away. Him off the back of Salinas. Murphy looking for Baji. He's off Pereira. Cara coming in to help, but it finds Acosta. Options here for Kubo. He'll shoot. And into the concourse from Yuya Kubo and Tensi Crystal. Wait, wait. 
Bulls will look to continue to try and test them at every opportunity, but there won't be too many more opportunities. We'll find out shortly how much added time there will be. Might be academic if uh, Cincy can score again here. The shot when it comes doesn't trouble Coronel this time. Yeah, it might have been better. Brandon Vasquez, pero de los jugadores de Cincinnati, Brandon Vasquez hasta hace un mes atrás. Cupo! Cascante had to adjust, did well, but there's uh, danger lurking here. Three against four for Cincinnati. Kubo, the cut back and the shot over the top. Brad Stover has seen plenty of action in front of him, hasn't he? Haglund to Kubo. Kubo has Santos off his foot. Santos going to try to keep it alive at the end line. Ariel to Wobodo. Kubo trying to get away from the pressure of Rios. And it ends up being whistled and set up a spot here. Galaxy 75,000 are expected at Bank of America Stadium and it's expected to be the largest soccer crowd on the entire planet this weekend. Certainly a great night for Major League Soccer. That's a, a massive milestone. Seeing how this one plays out, but when I talked to him about learning how to combine with some of these players, Lucho Acosta, he said Lucho is so creative that he's learned not to be so far away from him, that he loves flicks. Even if he's not looking at you, he knows where you are, so always be on your toes. He can create something out of nothing to always be ready, so look for them to link up up top. Yeah, certainly a potential of a great combination there, Alex. And Roger got We're actually going to try to match FC Cincinnati's system. Just looking at it, they've went to 3-5-2. I think Iguain's going to play up top. Kubo with a nifty bit of footwork across the midfield to keep the possession. Martirita onto Acosta. Taking off his foot. Gregory with a defensive play. And Moreno comes over to get just enough of the ball and gives Cincinnati the possession back. Acosta cutting into the midfield. Taken down by Mota. Advantage to Cincinnati. Vasquez dropped the ball back to Haglin. Onto the right side, Powell. He might have done so. Celentano in front of a Poku there. So the replay of Sifuentes got nutmeg or not on that one is Renner. Stops at this. He's probably got a, a little bit more time just to try to settle himself. Maybe could have taken a touch behind the defender, but wasn't able to get the power behind it. Vasquez into the final third, onto the right side, Powell sends it back in his direction. Nagby was there defensively. Now on the corner of the 18. Back for Acosta, deflected away, but right to Kubo. Kubo towards the goal, takes a shot, they get sails just high. That's really uh, worth the price of admission, that stuff from uh, Heel. It's Boateng gets muscled off the ball, fairly according to the referee. Counter-attack opportunity for FC Cincinnati. Vasquez knifing to the inside on the... Pressure. This is where Cincinnati has to find a way to get the ball back and get some possession. Yu Yakubo does just that, and then he's dragged down. Now you take a deep breath. Heinz Eich will switch it over to the far side. Jeff Hall with his first touch. Taken away. Acosta. Looking for Baji and Rosad. He's all alone. And there's in Robledo, who falls out of his boot. Good tackle from Kubo. Kubo very strong in the midfield. Cincinnati doesn't have numbers, but they're going to push. Four on six forward. Kubo over to Acosta on the right. Looking for a pass, can't get in. In the direction of Vasquez, off his chest. Vancouver finally able to muscle the ball away, and then you, Yakubo, with a strong tackle to take it away from Ryan Gall. Barrial in the direction of Vasquez. Good pressure by Kubo, takes it away from Pedro Santos. Morris on a beeline sprint to try to slow him up. Yuya Kubo. 
Still with Morris for company. Brenner trying to get the other side for Barrial. It's going to be tied off. Let's see Cincinnati putting themselves in position without seven starters today. That's one of the top teams in the league. A lot of a chance at the end of the half as Brenner picks that up. It's a coast who has it now. A Unforced errors. Where Columbus has just given it back to Cincinnati. Here's Cucho. Stood up by Miazga. Moreno's clearance got deflected, but Kubo was there strong once again. Stott steps over the ball to allow Cincinnati to march forward. And Brenner not able to poke it away. But the pressure relentless from Cincinnati right now. Kubo all over Marrera. It's a throw in for Cincinnati. Great job there by you. It's very difficult to hit. That ball's played across so high to him. The concentration needed. It was not far away. And here's a turnover. Acosta a shot. Acosta a goal! And it'll be Acosta with his right foot. Into the 18. Cleared away, but Kubo tracing it. Tracking it, excuse me. Over to Vasquez. Sends it across. Cleared by Chicago. Duran, who has a brace tonight. With Kubo there. Kubo did really well to slow him down, and Cincinnati wins the ball back. And then. Sí, y polifuncional. Lo han utilizado como carrilero defensivo y como extremo, incluso. José. Atención, que viene Harris. Le puede pegar. Calvin, busca el.